just got an order for a couple of cat coasters and a placemat. Uh, just doing the first one now. Hopefully it's going to come out all right. Yeah, you can't see much there. We'll see in a minute. in a moment. Okay so that is one of my uh, refinished tiles and I've engraved that uh, with the uh, mineral oil treatment prior to engraving and then I've gone over the top very lightly with mineral oil and uh, it's just lowered the brightness down a fraction and then that is a brand new tile uh, with no treatment except where I've touched it on the edge there with some mineral oil on my finger still uh, so yeah quite happy with that don't really know if there's a way of improving that on slate I wonder if we could try the crosshatch mode just see if that makes any difference but uh, I think uh, these will be fine so I'll just do in the second brand new one and, uh, and then we've got a placemat to do with a, uh, a similar design. Right, so both of those done. I've got the logo. Oh, a little bit of Fool's Gold as a freebie. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that one as well. Just going to wipe those over with some mineral oil. And, uh, and then we'll move on to the single placemat that this uh, customer uh, would like to go with these. So, uh, yeah, let's just uh, put the mineral oil on, be back in a minute. Okay, both treated with mineral oil. It seems to be uh, less is more um, with this mineral oil, otherwise you're going to be wiping it off for uh, days to come. I'm just going to let that soak in, as you can possibly snow. You probably can't see on the camera. Just the top left there is just beginning to soak in and turn more matte than shiny. and. Uh, same on the other side, part of it is just sinking in. So, uh, yeah, happy with that. On to the uh, placemat. So on the, uh, the smaller items, whether you've got this uh, your, your item exactly parallel to the uh, machine probably doesn't matter too much. But now we're moving over to a bigger placemat, um, it does matter. I was just thinking, well, how the hell can I ensure that it's spot on? It's quite hard to measure from here you know, to here when it's up in the air like this. So I thought if I just lay the tape down, take that where I think is right and then I'm just going to jog the laser probably need to move the uh, steps down a bit so I'm just going to see where that is on the scale zoom in and I'm literally just going to run it left to right and see if it stays pretty much where I like to be. So if we now go to the other end, that looks pretty close. So uh, it's just down from those short markers and let's just run it back up again. So I think probably we'll be happy with that. Just get that out of the way. Anyway, we'll get this coaster in. Right, so we've got that in place. I'm just going to do the logo first in the middle. Um, so I updated the overlay and then just dragged the usual uh, gift parlor logo in there and that increased the size. When well, yeah, it suddenly dawned on me, well, how am I going to get that? smack bang in the middle of just a, an image overlay 
and then I thought, well, of course, the obvious thing to do is just to uh, use the draw tool and just drag a rectangle out over the uh, outline of the, co uh, the placemat image and then just select both items and uh, click on the center uh, tool and that's just dragged that to the center of the square of the rectangle which is just noticed a tiny little bit out just down there. So I'm just going to bring that back a fraction. Oops. There we go. And if we just select both items, we can go up and click center. You just saw the logo jump up, just a fraction. I don't know whether I want to do that any bigger than that really or not. It's only an advert on the back, so I think we'll just go with that. I'm just going to make sure that the cuts and everything are correct. Yeah, looks a good still image. Still being done. Yeah, I think we're uh, good to go there. Oh, now what we haven't done is just leveled that up. So let's bring that head into the middle. Just have a little look. Yeah, I have to bring that down. A bit too much. It's a shame there's not an automated way of doing this. I suppose you could uh, design a probe and automate it. Oh, I've got somebody at the door. Right, just had some GHDs dropped in at uh, on 8 o'clock in the evening. Right, so we have leveled. Uh, sorry, we've got the laser focus height set. Uh, I've made that a little bit bigger, just dragged it out and then uh, selected the outline and the image and just centered it again. And then I've deleted the rectangle uh, from there. So, uh, image speed 200, power 13, that is all good. So, um, yeah, let's get this side done. Actually, I'm going to frame that just... No, I can't do that. Let's hit frame up here. Just absolutely double check that it's in the right place. Yeah, all looks good. Oh, I did it twice. Why did it do that twice? Hmm. I'm just going to send the image over. I'm going to put a logo. P for placemat. Send that. And it's gone over. Just going to bring up the file here. And logo placemat. So I'm showing it there. We'll just load it. So that all looks good. And we'll just frame it from here again. Perhaps I'm going to lift this up and just double check that. So I'm just going to hit frame and we'll just watch where that is. Yeah, that's perfect. So that is all good. So we will hit and just look at preview first, make sure there's no mistakes. Looks good. And uh, hit play. Start rather, play. <laughs> see the mineral oil already in the slate, it's just beginning to show through and if you look at those sort of shield shapes, so uh, yeah, a little wipe over and that will be uh, good and, uh, then we've got, and then we've got the main design to do, I keep pressing this top button, or pause button by mistake, it's because I've got gloves on probably, anyway, so uh, yeah, let's carry on. Okay, so here is the placemat design and uh, I've just again drawn the rectangle around there to make it easy to uh, get that all nice and centered. Um, done a frame, looks, uh, looks pretty good. Let's just do that again. Twice. 
nice now. time we're doing 250 and 13 power for the line and fills. Uh, the pores are going to be filled in, uh, the cats uh, not completely filled in in the middle, just those lines. Well, let me show you a preview. So, well, just like the cats on the uh, coasters. Uh, hopefully, that's going to come out okay. So, uh, if we send that. overhead lights. So it should be the last thing that was uploaded. You can see the image there and uh, I think double check, line fill, speed, power, focus, height set, preview looks good so uh, yeah let's go. That's all good, back in a minute. Right, and uh, there we go. It's come out pretty well. The uh, positioning's not bad. I could have gone maybe another millimetre over to the right, but yeah, looking very closely at that, you can probably see it, but uh, perfectly acceptable. So, yeah, that is that job done. I'll just again wipe that over with uh, some mineral oil and uh, I'll be ready to go to the customer. Alright, so that's treated and uh, we'll just let those soak in overnight and uh, we'll just wipe them with a dry cloth tomorrow and uh, get them out.